What's good everybody? In today's video, we are going to ask some pretty important questions when it comes to the type of edibles that you want to consume. Often you are unaware at the start of your cannabis journey and people might not even know that, hey, I actually have a medium tolerance or I actually have a heavy tolerance. And we are going to break down that very clearly in this video. We're going to give recommendations on the type of products that are best depending on where you're at in your cannabis journey. And we're also going to clarify the type of person that really enjoys our products and to see if that aligns with you. So let's get into it. The first thing first is if you are a fan of our products, you most likely have kids, you care a lot about your health, you care about the ingredients that you put into your body, you care about accountability uh, when it comes to these products. It's as simple as that. And of course, you enjoy cannabis, right? You enjoy cannabis and, uh, and you love high quality products. It's really as simple as that. So when we first get going, right, you're, you're on your cannabis journey, you just found out, hey, cannabis is a very broad term and it's not just Delta 9 THC. I can actually get this from a lot of places, but I honestly don't know how to proceed. I don't know what a good starting dose is. We've got two products to help you get going. The first one is our 15 milligram Delta 9 THC gummies. These are actually one of our lowest dose products. And honestly, for some people, they might even start off with half of one of these, so 7.5. We also have our Delta 8 gummies, and these are one of our best sellers. We have kept these going and they are a staple in, in owls. A lot of companies, they just stopped doing the Delta 8 gummies. And we found that our customers really love these products and they want the repeatability and they don't really want us to change them. So when it comes to these, the 50 milligrams is actually going to be more than 15 milligrams of Delta 9. So what we advise people to do is to buy one of these and see how that dose feels for you. I would, if you're just starting off, I would most likely take one of these uh, one of these gummies here and I would cut it into three pieces and I would just take one of those three pieces and see how you feel. If you feel that like, oh, this actually is not that overwhelming, I'm feeling really good. Look, as you can see here, right? You can just cut that triangle into three pieces and now you're gonna end up with, you know, somewhere around like 15 milligrams each. And that is gonna translate to around the same dose here, 7.5. So, you want to just take a little bit of the gummy, see how you're feeling, figure out what your need really is too. Some people, they want to take products to feel functional during their day. For other people, they want to take it more recreationally. Like, hey, I'm going out to spend some time with friends. I'm going to get a little, I'm going to have some fun. And they might take, you know, two of these gummies. And then there's other people that are saying, hey, I actually have specific ailments. Right, like I want to go to sleep at night, I don't want to be tossing and turning, and I don't want to wake up groggy in the morning. So that's sort of the, your three types of people. And so regardless of which one it is with you, the main thing is you never really want to have uh, an experience where it's too much, because that doesn't feel good. When it doesn't feel good, then you don't want to take it anymore. If you don't take it anymore, you're going to go back to your same issues. And so really just comes back to educating yourself on what the right dose is. And so just starting out, the right dose for you is going to be anywhere from 10 to 25 milligrams. After that, you're going to be thinking, maybe you might take two of these gummies. All right, maybe you take one of these gummies. And you just want to record that, write it in a journal. And you might ask the question of like, well, how do I know what I am? Well, first of all, I would consider somebody that is a beginner most likely has like a zero tolerance, meaning that they've never used cannabis before. They're just starting on their cannabis journey and they haven't really consumed the different forms. They're not as comfortable. They probably can't roll a joint, right? It's their first time um, trying out cannabis. They're most likely going to go for edibles first or maybe something like a tincture or something like our nano capsules. And really, you are just at this point of self-discovery. You're trying to see how does this product feel? And 
what are those effects and you're still trying to see how it all just affects your body and what feels good for you. Once you get that, you then become more comfortable. You're saying, oh, I'm just gonna crack this open now. I'm taking two or three gummies. I feel really good with those. And at that stage in time, you should start considering some of our other options because you can either say, hey, I'll just take two of these, right, rather than one and stick to this product. Or you might say, hey, I've had all these different flavors. Whoops, I've had all these different flavors. I really like these gummies and uh, I just wanna try something that's a little bit stronger. So the next step up from this, we've got two types. One is our Owls 40 ton collaboration. And just so you know, we're giving 3% of the profits to 40 tons. These gummies definitely pack a punch. One of these gummies inside of here is basically the equivalent of one of each of these. And so you're definitely gonna save on these. It's a bigger pack, there's 20 per pack. And they're also much more strong, or they're stronger, I should say. This means that you are going to feel the effects far greater. And it also is going to allow you to consume less because it's higher dose and, uh, and, and feel the same effects. The one thing that I'll say that's really good about these is that compared with one of these products, this is just one assorted pack. And with 40 tons, you have all the individual flavors. And so this is a gelatin based gummy. It is on the higher potency side. And so this is for someone who, you know, you probably smoke a few joints every now and then, right? You are pretty comfortable with taking edibles you have a pretty good idea of your threshold, right? So for instance, for me, it's like, I never really need more than 100 milligrams. And if I take more than 100 milligrams, it's probably of a single, maybe on occasion, I might take like 200 milligrams of like HHC, but typically it's going to be, you know, it's good. You're gonna know your threshold. You're gonna know how you feel in the morning and you're gonna have a pretty good understanding of your needs. Like, hey, right now I wanna go party. I'm chilling out with the boys. I'm maybe gonna play some video games or whatever it is, right? Maybe I'm gonna go do some sports. I'm gonna do some Muay Thai or some Jiu Jitsu. I want my body to be nice and relaxed. And I know if I take one of these gummies, it's not really gonna affect me in a negative way. You're much more in control of yourself. You know to drink water. You know that you're gonna sleep well. And you're not really concerned about, hey, if I did take too much then I'd be okay, right? Like I can handle it, I'm fine. Whereas when you're a beginning user over here, you take too much and you're like, oh my God, is this how cannabis is? I never want to do it again. And I'm going to tell everybody to never do it. With these, you are much more confident in yourself. You've got a much better understanding. And this option here is a vegan option. These are called Delta 9 THCO gummies. THCO, to put it simply, is a way in which you increase the absorption rate and the way in which the cannabinoids are metabolized in the body. These will give you much more of a daytime sort of sativa-like feeling, whereas these are gonna be very strong body-like experience and is going to um, give you much more of that indica relaxed body feeling. These are vegan, daytime, creative, in your mind, they also come in five, uh, six individual flavors plus two assorted packs. They have a little bit of a sugary coating on the outside. These are 25 milligrams of Delta 9 THCO. You might be asking the question, well, hey, are these 50, these are 25. Delta 9 THCO is stronger. And the way in which I mentioned about the absorption rate, these are actually pretty potent. So if you're to take two of these, it's gonna be enough for a lot of people, even your medium users. Two of these versus one of these, is, uh, is, is going to be pretty similar. And these, the duration will last for uh, quite a bit longer with these. So this is your medium dose, right? You're used to smoking joints, you're comfortable with yourself, you can try something new, you have the awareness to say, I know what I like and I'm not afraid if I take a little too much, I can handle it. Next comes to our heavy dose. And we have two different varieties here. We've got our live resin gummies as well as our heavy dose. These are actually both heavy dose. I should have, uh, we're gonna make that more clear in the future. These are like heavy dose extended and these are like a live resin heavy dose. And these basically have a multitude of different cannabinoids ranging from six to eight. The thing about these is, is twofold. One, 
When it comes to live resin, you are working with not only just the cannabinoids, but also the terpenes. We take fresh frozen flour, which is then extracted, meaning that all the acidic cannabinoids are still intact. So what you'll see in this is you've got CBCA, CBDA, THCA, and the THCA is actually in a very small amount here, but um, overall, the, the effect of the acidic cannabinoids is really to do with anti-inflammatory properties. So for those of you that are dealing with inflammation, dealing with pain, these types of things, this is gonna be really good for you. With the Delta-8 and the Delta-9, you are going to feel that strong body effect and as well with the HHC is really just going to compound together and on top of the terpenes is going to give you a very strong effect. These are 100 milligrams each. The duration is pretty long and I always look at these as, uh, as more as daytime but it's still just like a good overall experience but I find that compared to the heavy dose, the heavy dose is like similar to like a muscle relaxer, if that's the way to put it. Like my brain, I feel like my brain just isn't on in the same way with these. These are very sedating. If you were having issues with sleep, if you had like very strong issues with pain, you're taking muscle relaxers. Like my ex-wife, I remember when she had a couple of hip surgeries done and uh, the stuff that they gave her, the choice to see that like go to work and be in pain or take the muscle relaxers and not be able to work and earn money. And so this is a wonderful option for those of you that are in pain that can need a little extra hand. And one thing that I will say is, for me, I'm not in a lot of pain. I don't really take products for pain. I take products predominantly for me as more recreational. Um, I'm more fun. I'm hanging out with my wife. I'm, you know, gonna chill is my, is, is for me, is how I like to use these products. On occasion, like I mentioned before, if I'm feeling ill, I'm going to reach for the cannabinoids first. But the one thing I'll say is with these, these are really sedating. These are really, there's no one that's gonna try these, but these don't work. Like the THCP that's in these, there's over three milligrams of THCP in each one of these gummies. And typically when you look at gummies, they range from like half a milligram to one. So these are very, very strong. And compared to these, this is more, this is like your final destination strong over here. This one is like, you're just hopping on the train. This is great. It has a different feeling to this, but overall, these are going to be more for the anti-inflammatory. These are going to be more for the sedating. Both are going to be quite psychoactive and both are going to be quite heavy on your body. Who's the type of person that is going to use these? People that are already not having pharmaceuticals do what they need to do for them. It's going to be people that are saying that they don't get high anymore because they smoke cannabis every day and edibles don't do anything to them. It's sort of these type of people. It's going to be people that have tried these other products and they've built up a little bit of a tolerance and they're saying to themselves, I want something stronger. And these are going to be for the people that really know, hey, I could eat. They think, hey, I could just eat this whole pack and I'd be fine. No one's eating this whole pack and be fine. Like, no one. I don't care how big you are. There's no way in hell these would be too strong. And so this is really for the experienced user. They know what they want. They know what the outcome is, is what they're looking for. And at the end of the day, they want to get the, the cannabinoids that are really effective and they know exactly what they want. So I hope this explained everything very clearly for you. Please let us know in the comments below. Are you a beginner user, a medium user, a heavy user? How did you know the differences between what products are best for you? And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.